Hi, I'm Jonathan Kozol, and I've been working with children, mostly young children, and mostly uh, black and Latino children, for a little over 50 years, ever since I started out as a fourth grade teacher in a segregated school in Boston. Uh, my concern, my ultimate concern right now, today in the United States, is that we still, after all these years, we still are running an apartheid education system in which um, funding for schools and resources for schools are savagely unequal, and you can measure that by any number of criteria. It's obvious to anyone like myself who spends time in very nice affluent suburban schools and then compares them to the inner city schools of New York City or Chicago, for example. It's obvious that there's no level playing field in the United States. The game is rigged before it even starts. And uh, until that's corrected, until we get rid of this uh, archaic funding system and finance the education of every child equitably in America, until then, we, we will be an incomplete democracy. There's, there's no honest meritocracy in America today. It's still a hereditary meritocracy, and it's ethically intolerable and uh, theologically abhorrent. Uh, the, the other great struggle of my life has been to try to confront the intense segregation of our schools. Uh, bitterly enough, this, our, our public schools, by and large, are more segregated racially today than they were back in 1968, the year that Dr. King was taken from us. So that put, the, put those two together, and there you have it. Uh, after all these years, America still runs a, a, a separate and unequal school system. I, I wrote about this years ago in my first book, Death at an Early Age, and then again much later in a book called Savage Inequalities, and then again quite recently in a book called Shame of the Nation. And Despite all these years of struggle, my own and that of many, many others, uh, we still we, we, we still have have this bitterly, uh, viciously unequal system. Uh, people sometimes say to me, "Is is are the victims uh, minorities? Is this a, it's a black issue, or uh, you, or isn't it simply a matter of economic class?" Uh, I, a lot of Americans would like to believe it's economic class because that's not quite as um, disturbing as 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 racial as, as racial inequity. My answer is that the two are so tightly intertangled that there's no way to to distinguish. Uh, black children are the primary victims of of this historic injustice in America, uh, but poor children suffer too. And, you know, I've always dreamed that by this point in my life, I'm going to be 80 next year, I've always dreamed that, that there would have been some kind of sweeping transformation. Uh, and sometimes I've, I've been in contact with presidential candidates or nominees before, before they were elected, and they've given me the implication uh, and that they were going to address this courageously. Uh, it never happens. Uh, uh, even President Obama has never touched this issue. And uh, I don't think I'm going to live to see the victory I've fought for all these years. That's why I spent a lot of time talking to young, young people, college kids, teachers who are just beginning to teach. I always say to them, uh, I think you might see this victory, but you're going to have to fight to get it. It's not going to come easily.